Dad and I are doing our first attempt at building our first 20 meter antenna and this is very experimental just seeing how things work. I'm using that analyzer I just bought. I'll show you that in a second. This is how much I was at. I'm way off from 20 meters. I just measured 18 feet on each side just for kicks. So the frequency for 20 meters is 14. Uh, yeah, so I've got to cut it short enough. Oh, the center of 20 meters is roughly 14.175. Because I have a general license and I want to be able to talk on it, I need to put it right between 14.225 and 14.350. So that means my target is roughly, yeah, roughly around 90. Uh, 14 to 290 is close enough. So that's my goal. So I'll show you our very simple rudimentary 20 meter antenna. And keep in mind, this, I just wanted to kind of get a grasp on this because I'm getting confused with balance, uh, all the ratios on balance, and then some people saying you don't need balance. And I just said, you know what, I'm gonna just buy some ends and solder wire to it and I'm at his house we don't even have it the right height I'm stuck to a tree uh, it's really poorly set up I just wanted to see how this is all affected I have one wire here tied to that umbrella and I just have it strung up on the fence there's no metal here and then I have it to the uh, what is this the 239 um, and then I have it to my 75 foot of uh, coax and then it's going up over here and I just have it tied around that branch in that tree and then the coax runs into the house. So now I'm going to take another 10 inches off, probably a foot off, um, and see if it gets me closer. Uh, I just cut 18 feet, I know I only needed 16 feet, but I wanted to start long and just see how things affected. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Again. This is not how you're supposed to make an antenna. I just want to see what it does and how it works. So there we go. Okay. So this is how much I cut off this time. I'm gonna go up here to this tree branch, branch and uh, I'm gonna just untie it and I'm gonna hold the wire up so I can cut the same amount off and then tie it back to another branch because I'm running out of length here. I'll pro probably have to tie it over here because it's gonna to be too short to tie back over there. So that's what I'm gonna do now. All right, now I've got it tied to that branch. So there it is. Let's go back in the house and try it on that uh, $15 U-Kit I bought at the last swap fest, which by the way, the batteries were shot and the charger was shot. No. So I'm having to run it on an external charger without the batteries. Anyway, it's like 30 bucks for new batteries. So I still got a pretty good deal, but I'm not using the batteries right now. Here we go, we're gonna look at the U-Kit antenna analyzer and you can see what I'm doing. So I'm changing over the frequency here. And it's going to be up higher. So here it comes. Oh, there you are. The impedance looks like the yellow is the impedance, if I'm understanding correctly. Um, so we're at 12. Uh, SWR is, um, and see, that's about 50 ohms impedance. See the green? So that's about 50 ohms impedance right there. See that green? Yeah. So it's a little above it. I can just barely see the green. That green, that 50? See that 50? Yeah. So that 50 is right about there. So I am literally at about 50 ohms impedance. There's a scale from here. Dots. Oh, the line, yeah. So I am, I am at 50 ohms. That's really good. That's what we want without a balun. Yeah, so I'm, 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 this is at 13. I still got to go up to 14, 290 is where I'm, my goal is. So I'm at 13.1.5, which is acceptable. So yeah, so we're at 50 ohms. So you see what I'm doing? So I took this much more off. So I took off a lot. Um, I'm going to take off about half that much this next time because I'm getting closer. Okay, so now I'm going to go out and cut off about six inches. Be back, check it on the analyzer. Okay, it's getting dark, but I'm gonna to try to show you what I did. Uh, when I first got it, I got it, the, uh, the SWR down to about 2.5 in the 14.2 uh, to 14.4 range, which was too high. Um,
but the impedance was like 78, obviously. No bailing. So I, you know, I saw these videos where they do it like a J-pole for two meter where they put six windings in the uh, a coax. And I don't know if this was just a coincidence that this actually worked. But uh, six windings didn't do much. But I noticed when I did six windings, it did lower to like 73. And so I did like 10 windings and then I didn't have a long enough wire to, to reach where I'm trying to do. Uh, but at 10 windings, it dropped, dropped impedance down to 66. And my SWR now between... Um, 14.2 and 14.4 is 1.6. So it's not perfect. Let me show you what I did. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. So I just, I just looped the coax about nine turns. Um, and apparently, I guess that's acting kind of like a bellin. Uh, if it's not, I don't know why it's working, but it did drop the impedance down to 66. So let's go back and look at the SWR meter. So I did end up knocking about another 18 inches off the whole thing. So what's it, does it still say 66? 66, 67, 64. Okay. So there we go. I've got 64 for impedance and 1.6. This is at 14.2. And then if I turn the knob to 14.3, it's 1.5. 14.4 is 1.6. And that's my range. So I think that's as good as I'm going to get for this makeshift antenna. Now we can just try it. Okay, so this is a continuation of that little 20 meter thing I soldered up in Colorado. Um, this is several weeks later. Um, it was dead. And I didn't know if it was because of the antenna, because if we were by power line. I did move over to another fence, got less noise. Anyway, I got it here. We're back in Newton, Iowa. And I went ahead and just strung it up in my porch. Let me show you that. Um, it's not even hung correctly. It's not hung straight across. My porch is too small. So as you can see here, I just have it. There's no ballon. Um, literally, it's, it's what you saw me make in Colorado. And it's just hanging across like this. I have it wrapped around a shelf and the wire just hangs down. Um, same thing on this side. That's it. That's all there is. So this is exciting. It's the 25th of March 2017. Apparently it's a contest this weekend. So I turn on my radio. There's people everywhere. Uh, I've, I've picked up signals from Canada, from uh, Massachusetts, Alaska. This guy that here on the radio right now is in November Charlie 7 Mike. He is in Oregon. Um, anyway, I decided even though I'm not really doing the contest, no one get mad at me, please. Uh, I, I have made a few contacts. Um, I've been able to talk to somebody. I think it was Alberta, if I recall correctly. Um, 750 miles when I calculated on the, the map, and then one in Calgary that was 1,087 miles, and I just did another contact in Flagstaff, Arizona, 1,100 miles, and uh, the one in Calgary was a little hard. He, I had to repeat it several times, and he was definitely talking to me, but he still didn't get my call right at the end um, because he repeated other things correct, like... Uh, he was my second contact and he verified that and so forth so I was definitely talking to him and it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't just like he was having the having same conversation with somebody else but that was really he's having a hard time the first one at 750 miles I had to receive myself uh, two times the one in Flagstaff he heard me I mean he he repeated my call after the first time only one letter off I repeated it back to him just and he repeated it crystal clear, no right. issues. So I, I would probably say he heard me probably at like a five, yeah, not a five nine, but I would say like a a four, a four eight, four seven. If I was to guess, if I was on the other side. So of course they're contesting, so they always say five nine. But the point is, I didn't have to repeat myself that much. He really he heard me clear with my little five watt radio, eleven hundred miles, the antenna hanging up like that. This is exciting. This is fun. This is cool. This is what I thought it would be like, but it's been dead, and this is really awesome. Um, so this guy is in Oregon. I really don't think he's going to hear me. All right, so there's no power indicator. That means I should be at 5 watts. 
Mexico. Kilo Echo Zero, Lima, Charlie, Sierra. Kilo Echo Zero, Lima, Charlie, Sierra. Kilo Echo Zero, Lima, Charlie, Sierra. Kilo Echo Zero, Echo, Charlie, Sierra. Is that okay? Lima, Charlie, Sierra. Lima, Charlie, Sierra. Okay, thank you. 590686. 5904. 04, thank you. November, Charlie, 7, Mexico. All right. I just made a call to this guy. In in C Charlie. <laughs> oh wow, this is with five watts. N C Charlie Seven Mike. He is in uh, Oregon. Boring Oregon. Okay, you don't. Okay, unless you do this as a hobby, you'll never appreciate. This is. Yes, we have the internet. Yes, I'm even using the internet to look up who this guy is and where he's at. But there's something amazing about the fact that the radio waves that I just transmitted reached all the way to Oregon with a 5-watt radio and that crappy little antenna hanging off my porch. That This is a technology that people have forgotten about. There's very few hams in relation to, to internet users. I mean, there's like, I think 600,000 in the United States. But my point is, the technology, regardless of you thinking that it's old school, is just amazing. I mean, that is, I'm going to go to this website here I have. It's called tjpeifefer.com. So... Let's go ahead and do this. You can see I had my Flagstaff, Arizona call in there. So that was Flagstaff, Arizona to, to Newton, Iowa. And so I'm going to do the same thing. This guy is located in uh, Boring, Oregon. So let's, let's, let's do this. B-O-R-I-N-G, Oregon. Oh, it's just showing everything I've contacted. So yeah, this was to, to Phoenix. This is the one I did to Calgary. And then this is the one I just did to Boring, Oregon. So 1,483 miles. You heard it. He heard my call. He heard my call all but one letter on the first try. And all I had to do was repeat it once with five watts. He heard me. And this is a contest where I'm sure he's hearing all kinds of people calling him. This is awesome. Anyway, I'm going to keep playing. Bye.